Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'll explain about impression management in the subject of organization behavior. So, I am explaining actually according to JNTU head syllabus. So, according to that syllabus, it is the last topic in first unit. After this video, let's get started with second unit, okay? So, first, what is impression management and what are the different impression management techniques we have? We are going to learn in this video, okay? So, impression management is nothing but the process in which individuals attempt to control impressions others form on them. For example, you, so if, if suppose I am there, you are watching my video, right? So, what you people will think? You will either think that, okay, she is explaining well or you will think that she is not explaining well. Any two probabilities are there right so for example you people are thinking that i am not explaining well then if you comment it in the comment section i'll get to know that okay these people are not able to understand what i am teaching i have to improve myself i am losing the impression so what i have to do i have to gain back the impression right so impression management is nothing but the process in which individuals attempt to control impressions others form on them suppose you are forming an impression like she is not teaching well then i have to control it i have to do something in order to control it and get my previous impression back okay so i hope you understood for example a person will always think that everybody should think good about them so in order to do that in order to make others feel like that he will do he'll try to impress others so in order to get that impression there are some techniques we have nine techniques let us learn about them in this video so you understood what is impression management suppose if there is a professor who is going to give you suppose lecturer or whoever it is who is going to give you lab marks okay and it is very important for you to impress him or her to you know you have to have a good impression near that faculty so that you're getting good marks so what you will do, you will do like in front of them, you will behave very well. You in front of them, you will behave very calm. Uh, you will like their subject related assignments, you will write on time. All those things you will do. Why? Because you need marks from them. So simple. And what are those techniques? Let us see. First is self-promotion. That is you are highlighting yourself. You are making efforts in order to highlight yourself. Okay, you are always telling that I did so and so thing. Uh, yesterday I completed this assignment. Today I did this assignment. Today I have written notes. Today I have, uh, you know, uh, so all you will be trying to tell about yourself. Okay, self dabba to be more precise. Next is appreciation. Appreciation means you are praising the opposite person. Suppose you want uh, marks from the professor or the lecturer you're praising them um, sir you are like this madam you are like this madam if you say it will go into our brain madam madam you are so like you'll be always praising them so that is appreciation next association association means here you are you are associating yourself like to engage yourself into some activity related to that person so that the people will think that you're okay he's always active or he or she is always active they are always good like that next being consistent being consistent means maintaining the same behavior you are always having the same behavior irrespective of the uh, situations so then people will think that okay he is having lot of consistency uh, bad situation or good situation he is always brave he is always strong people will think like that okay you should always be consistent the same normal neutral you have to be for positive things getting too much happy for negative things becoming too much sad that is not being consistent okay next behavioral matching behavioral matching means suppose for example your professor is there again let us take the professor example only sorry guys the power cut i guess okay but still you are able to see right let's manage so uh, for example, the professor is observing you. The professor has to give you marks. You will try to match your behavior to that professor's behavior. If suppose that professor is very disciplined, he will do everything on time, eating or you know going to class, everything he's on time, he'll do everything perfect. Then you'll try to match your behavior to themselves so that the professor will think, okay, he is also very good. He is also very punctual like me then he will get a good impression on you right so you're trying to match your behavior with the observer's behavior okay 
favor favor means you are doing something in favor to them suppose if if they want some like if they want uh, uh, some notes to be written or if they want some uh, some technical work to be done so you are helping them you are doing something in their favor next is apology suppose you did a mistake then you will say sorry for that suppose that that is you are accepting your mistake you are immediately taking the mistake so that is also a very good quality right accepting a mistake is a very very good quality actually next excuse excuse means suppose you did a mistake then you are excuse then you are telling some reason you are justifying it instead of just simply uh, blaming others you are taking the blame and you are giving an explanation of why you did that mistake that is what excuse means okay and next is conformity so what do you mean by conformity means uh, you are following the rules of the organization that is college you are going to college right you are following the rules and regulations of the college the so college will set up some rules so you are following that you are trying to match with those rules so that people will think okay he is following all the rules he is following all the regulations whatever we are telling he is obeying all so we have to give him good marks the professor will think okay so impression management is nothing but the impression somebody has on you you can control that you are controlling that impression by doing some things and those things are all these self promotion you are telling about yourself your self dabba appreciation you are appreciating that person you are always praising the opposite person with whom you have work and association means you are always active you are always being engaged into that next is being consistent which means you are always consistent you are always the same you are not fluctuating your behavior is always the same next is behavioral matching you are trying to match your behavior to the observer's behavior next favor you are doing something in favor to them apology saying sorry excuse is giving explanation proper explanation conformity is following the rules and regulations of the college or the organization in which you are working okay so this is all about impression management and i hope this is clear for you let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then if you're having any doubts let me know in the comment section bye for now <laughs>